Do you want to use Stable Diffusion for free without investing into high-end GPU? Or if you're a person like me who doesn't have any high-end computer specs, so you guys are at the right place. Because in this video, I'm gonna share a free Google Collab notebook to use Stable Diffusion. And inside of this notebook, you can even install your desired models. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Okay, the process is simple, but you have to pay attention to the video if you want to avoid the errors. So we're gonna use this Google Collab notebook and the credit goes to this guy who shared this awesome notebook with us. So first of all, go to the runtime and select change runtime. And make sure to select T4 GPU. By default, this will be selected as your CPU. So once it's done, simply hit save button. And then click on this connect button and this will be connected to your GPU. Okay, so once it's done, simply go to the first cell and click on this play button to run this cell and this will start executing this code and this process can take three to four minutes so we have to wait for it okay so once it's done you will see this green check mark on the first cell and before starting the second step simply click on this blue link and here you can see all of the stable diffusion models that you can install inside of this google collab notebook and by default this will be selected as a stable diffusion realistic version 5 and let's say if you want to install any other version like Stable Diffusion version 5, you just have to replace this false with true. But I'm happy with this one. And if you want to install your desired models like from the CVT AI, you can also do that. That I'm gonna show you later in the video. But for now, simply select this cross button. And now run this second cell. So this process can also take few minutes. So you have to be patient. So sometimes it can show error. So don't worry about that. That's a part of our process. That's not an error actually, right? So if it happens, simply run this cell one more time. Okay, so our second step is completed and you can see the green check mark on the second cell. Now simply run this third cell and just wait for invoke AI link. And here you can see we have the invoke AI link, but don't open this right now until you see this last link. Now simply select this first link and here you can see we have our super duper stable diffusion inside of invoke AI. We can enter a prompt. We also have the option for the negative prompt. You can even select the number of images. You have the number of steps. And here you can see a list of installed models, right? Now let's say if you want to install your desired models, simply click on this model manager and go to import model. And here you have to paste the link of your model. So I'm gonna to go to the CVT AI and here you can find all of the stable diffusion models. So let's say you want to install this model because this is a very realistic model. So simply go to the download button and copy link address then get back to the invoke ai and simply paste your link here and select add model and this can take some time to add your model and you can see our model has been added then go to the text to image section and in the model section we have our epic photogasm model this is so simple right now let's try any prompt like a beautiful lady freckles in a coffee shop bouquet hyper realistic and simply select invoke to generate the image so by the time it's generating the image let me introduce you to my whatsapp channel where i share the latest AI news and cool AI stuff and i would be very glad if you could join my whatsapp community the link is in the description below so here we have our final image where you can see it looks a pretty decent image and let's say if you want to upscale your image you also have that option simply go to this upscale button and select your desired upscaling model so i'm gonna select this real s 4 x plus and now click upscale image and this will start upscaling your image okay so here is the upscale version of this image and if you want to download your image simply click on your image and select the download image so you guys have a bunch of different options like seed values selecting the number of images number of steps and you also have the canvas option that i can't show in this video because the video length will be increased so that's how you guys can use stable diffusion inside of google collab without any gpu and i hope you guys find this video helpful and if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one.